Hey, what's going on guys, it's Dignal here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the uh, the top 5 best transitions to use in your highlight videos. So without further ado, let's get into transition number 1, which is going to be a, a simple a simple zoom in, zoom out transition. You know, we're starting, uh, starting a bit easy here. So uh, just go ahead and head over to your video effects tab and search for blur mode curves. Uh, go ahead and apply the, uh, the default if you don't already have a preset. Uh, my preset is only warp x and warp y set to reflect uh it's very easy uh it's a very easy preset to make and it comes in handy you know a lot when you're trying to make transitions really quickly and yeah i'm gonna be using that today so uh, just go ahead and drag it in uh and uh go six frames away from when the clips meet so one two three four five six uh that's gone about a second there i need to zoom in a bit more unfortunately so if you just Managed to move that one, two, three, four, five, six, right there, and there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Finally, okay. So, uh, keyframe Z distance, make a keyframe, drag it to the very end, and set it to zero comma five if you want to zoom in, and one point five if you want to zoom out. And once you've done that, go ahead and right click on this keyframe right here, <laughs> and set it to slow fade. And you're gonna go and drag your preset onto the other one, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the right. Uh, make your z distance 0 0.5 or 1.5 rather and uh click on keyframe and just set it to one and you go to this very first one and set it to fast and once you've done this you're gonna get a very very clean very smooth uh transition right there now obviously i'm going to show you a zoom out as well you just change the values to 1.5 right there and 0 0.5 right there and, you know, if you do that, it's also a very smooth, very clean transition that I'm sure you guys will enjoy. So let's move on to effect number two, which is going to be the, uh, the TV dissolve. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag the, uh, the clips so that they overlap around 15 to 20 frames. All right. And after you've done that, you want to head over to your transitions tab and search for TV. And you're going to drag in the BCC Damage TV Dissolve effect and drag it onto the uh, the area where they overlap. And once you've done that, you can see that it actually just automatically adds to transition, which I find really nice. Uh, you know, you don't really have to change a lot. Uh, you can change pretty much everything about this transition, however, if you feel like that's something you want to do. Uh, I personally can't be bothered. I don't really find any need to because the vanilla settings look fine to me. However, if you are interested in customizing it fully, that is something you are able to do. So uh, let's move on to transition number three, which is going to be the uh, the box transition. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new video track by pressing Control Shift Q or right clicking on this empty area down here. Uh, you want to go to your next clip. You want to press U to separate it from the uh, the audio and drag it up. And now you're going to want to drag it so that it overlaps 30 frames. So if it says 58, uh, 16 here, you're going to want to go to 57, 46. Uh, because that is 30 seconds earlier. And just drag, oh fuck. Just drag it. Oh fuck. Just drag it in. There we go. Amazing. And now we're going to want to click on the cropping tool up here. We're going to want to zoom it out uh, quite a lot. So that it's roughly that size. And we're going to drag it to the right or left or up or down, depending on where you want uh, the uh, the thing to be coming from. And once you've done that, you're going to want to go 15 frames forward, which is going to be right there. And you hold shift, obviously, and just drag it in so that it sort of anchors to the center. And once you've done that, just go 15 frames more and just click on restore right here. Now, there are a couple things you can do to make this transition a bit more smooth. Uh, you can, of course, just rotate that a uh, bit to the uh, to the left there. If that's something you're interested in. Uh, it does make it a bit more smooth right there. And uh, another thing you can do is just set this first one to slow and the last one to fast. And if you do that, it's going to look like that. Uh, quite clean. Now, if you want this to take a bit longer, you can, of course, just drag this last keyframe out and just copy this middle keyframe for a while. Uh, that will work as well, but I am quite a fan of this clean, smooth transition right there. Uh, if you want to add a couple extra effects to it, you can head over to your video effects tab and search for drop shadow. And you can just go ahead and copy my settings right here. If you drag it over, as you can see, it sort of adds a bit more character to the, the actual thing, if that's something you're interested in. 
And uh, yeah, now we can move on to transition number four, which is going to be the uh, the up down left to right transition. So uh, we've got two clips right here. I'm not gonna bother with this one because it's you know on another track. And, you know it's just fucking hard. I can't be asked. So uh, I'm just gonna do that before I get started. Oh fuck! I'm gonna do that before I get started. And now we can head over to the uh, the blur mo curves. Uh, effect again. So uh, in order to actually do this, you're gonna want to drag the uh, the thing <laughs> to the first uh, clip right here. Go ten free keyframes back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Uh, keyframe shift X or shift Y, depending on which one you want to do, and uh, doesn't really matter. And just go ahead and make a keyframe. Go to the very last one and drag it all the way up or all the way down, depending on which direction you want it to go, and set it set it to slow, of course. And now you're gonna to want to apply it to the uh, the second clip as well. Go 10 frames in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, make the uh, the shift whatever it was. I think it was like that. And then zero. And go to this first uh, fucking keyframe and set it to fast. And if you do that, it's gonna make this uh, the smooth transition to the uh, to the left right there. And I'm gonna show you what Y looks like as well. So uh, just go ahead and drag it on there. Once again, go 10 frames back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, press on or keyframe shift X, make a keyframe and drag it to the very end and just fucking drag it down or up. I'm going to drag it uh, down or up. I mean, it can be both uh, and set it to slow again and do the same thing right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uh, and set it to 0, 0,5 and 0. And now you just want to set this one to fast. And as you can see, it makes a smooth transition there. You know, upwards, which is very nice, very, very, very dandy. All right. Uh, so this last transition I'm going to be showing you today is the shake transition. So this is actually possible using the transitions tab. So I'm just going to search for uni dot camera shake transition right there. And there are a lot of things you can do with this. Uh, but most importantly, you're just going to want to overlap them by about 25 frames. And I'm going to show you the preset that I've made right here, which is actually quite nice. As you can see, it just bumps down. It's a bit Excel inspired right there. And you can obviously see the, uh, the settings right there. Now, uh, if that's not something you're interested in, you can go for a bit more of a violent solution right there. This is obviously a bit too... Uh, it has a bit too much amplitude still a lot of amplitude right there so we can go like 0, 0.5 or something uh, but yeah it can also work as a screen pump transition of course as you can see there are a lot of things you can play around with uh, you can also you know make it sort of a Y transition uh, and you know you can drag the X up a bit as well that's just a bit mad but uh, yeah, there are a lot of possibilities with this transition and you can just play around and find the perfect settings for what you're interested in So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, this quick uh, tutorial uh, If you did, you know me sure to leave a like comment subscribe uh, Give me some feedback in the comment section on what I can improve. Uh, love to see those comments and Yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple days and peace